Hi guys, today for you, teardown of this uh, pager from the flea market. So it is uh, from uh, France Telecom Equipment, model number Alpha Pedge 582. Uh, from the middle uh, 90s, probably. So there is a good battery in it, but it does absolutely nothing. So I do not know what is going on with it. So I will take it apart as this one is not in good condition. Uh, and I have a few other ones in better condition. So it looks like there is no screw on the back or anything. It looks like I need to remove this outer plastic uh, trim. But it is a self-destructive device. Not the best design I have seen. Yes, there are some kind of little plastic uh, pegs, something like this, claws or whatever you want to call them, which is uh, uh, holding the, the two uh, halves of a shell in place. So it is not terrible. I have to pull on it and it uh, wants to come more or less in parts. Yes, it is really a shitty design, guys. No other one for this. I guess it is really for uh, tamper proof uh, and warranty uh, purpose. They did this. Because the other uh, pages I have, you can them, take them apart completely with no issues. So here we are, some little uh, plastic things uh, clipping uh, alternatively in uh, each of the two cells. And now this is crap. So, I should be able to open the two parts. Yes. We have an internal uh, frame in a, in a piece in a, some kind of soft rubber. Here on the back, probably a speaker or buzzer or something, piezo speaker maybe. Not sure what it is. Quite an unusual thing, by the way. Here is the, you can see there is a lot of dust in this uh, plastic part. There is a dead code thing here, but it is so small I cannot read this. Some uh, cushioning material here. So this part, uh, we have the inside which just lift out. Like this, um, rubber key pad with hard uh, uh, key overlays. Quite regular stuff. And here we just have the window and the uh, golden contacts for the battery. Be may, maybe worth uh, keeping for uh, something else, I guess. Okay, so now the electronics. Oh, here you have the uh, antenna, obviously. As you can see, just a loop antenna. Here, another uh, device. This may be a buzzer. So maybe the other thing here is a vibration device. Not sure. Now we, are, we have interesting uh, surface mount parts here. They look like uh, laser trim resistors. Here a uh, ceramic hybrid circuit, it seems. 9NZ32. So it is probably, yes, it is a radio receiver board. It just disconnects like this. You can see the nice. Uh, 
bar to bar connector here. Here we have a three pin uh, quartz oscillator. Seems to be 45 megahertz. Some stuff here. Probably capacitors. And one more uh, ceramic uh, hybrid chip. Little coils. So this is uh, the radio receiver board. There is another quartz here, by the way. Watch uh, kind of quartz. So usually it is possible to pop the cover off this thing with the pliers. I will probably try later. Here we have the uh, rubber uh, separator thing for the two PCBs. You can see nice uh, golden springs to make contact for this thing. And the main PCB. We have of course the LCD display. One more uh, ceramic uh, clip thing. This seems to be some uh, memory according to the layout. Here we have a little battery in a battery holder. It is probably dead. Some total caps. Little dual inline chip here. So I guess I need to tear off this shielding. Well, it was easy. Oh, interesting. We have a main uh, Motorola processor, probably SC148015PU. I will. Uh, put all the description, the reference numbers of the chips in the video descriptions. Here we have a chip with a putting a blob, blob on it. Chip on burn maybe. And on this side, you can see the golden contacts for the buttons. Maybe we have more. So it is just a clip on film here for uh, driving the LCD display. Very cost effective, but uh, absolutely impossible to repair if it fails. And by the way, the flex circuit of the display is. Uh, Hot bar welded to the PCB here. So there is, if you tear it off, there is no chance you solder it back on. No reference number whatsoever on the display here. Some uh, kind of uh, moisture uh, remains, it seems. Some uh, thing did uh, go inside the device. <coughs> so the dead codes I have here are uh, 1995 uh, on this clip. So quite interesting, particular this uh, ceramic top uh, things. I think I will need to try to open them and figure out how to make. Uh, Macro photos of them if it is interesting inside. So the reset of laser trim resistors is really nice. They have golden uh, hands. And little antenna with a little capacitor in the middle. Okay, so it is all for this one, guys. I will try to identify what this thing is. This is scrap directly. The good uh, parts to recover are maybe this uh, golden uh, spring contacts and uh, golden battery contacts. They can always be useful. 
and I need to investigate a little more on the where the clips on the PCB. Apart from that, so it is uh, quite sad for this uh, stupid thing on, really. You cannot open it with no damage, it seems. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.